Hey YouTube, Rural Pipe, Wes, coming at you again. Uh, miserable day. Um, I'll give you a quick look at what's going on before I put the camera back in its holder. Um, well, that kind of leads, that's the back door, and that kind of leads into the house there. Then this is this is a view here. You can just see how I like a bit of woods behind it and that, but look at that. Look at the rain. Shocking weather. What a contrast to that spring day. So yeah, I've been haircut, what about it? Still got it there to style. Mid thirties, still got it. Bit short to be honest, I wanted to grow it out, but hey, might go for this. If I go for the long beard and short hair maybe. Anyway, VR response, Pipe Man Mick, King Briar. Mm, actually, housekeeping is uh, as you know, it's my falcon again. Um, you can see the ball a bit better now, actually. Yeah, falcon again, and in it I have some for a change. Is it a plug? Uh, of course, it's a plug. Reaver plug. It's it's probably it's my favourite plug, hands down. Right, the our response. Um, <coughs> Pipe Man Mick had come on and he was with his, his uh, buddy King Briar <coughs> and asked about uh, starting out, what to smoke and maybe pipe suggestions and, and, and also uh, tobacco suggestions. So, I thought I'd put me Tupney's worth in. Put me Tupney's worth in. Now, pipes. Pipes wise. I was, if I'm honest, I started with a cob, alright? I started with a cob, your MM cob. Uh, and. Whether it's just my smoking style or whatever, I don't know. But that, they don't suit me as much. I don't get. I don't. I hard. I don't smoke it now. I get so much more from. From Briar. Uh, you know, people talk about the wide open drawers. I don't like the wide open drawer. But if I've got an aromatic that I want to try, I'll put it in a cob. Nothing wrong with cobs, don't get me wrong. They're just not my bag. Having said that, I like the look of some of the ones that Glyn's got in. So, I'm, you know, I'll probably buy another one and, and go at it again. I'm never one to say don't get one. You know. Just never really suited me at that time. I might have, really should come back to one. I'd get, I'd get a falcon. I would. I get a new, it's like 20 quid or something, 25 quid. Falcon, if not a falcon, because these can be a little bit awkward to start with, with the whole swelling and stuff, but if not a falcon, I'd be looking at an estate pipe, and you'll probably have some local B&Ms. Just get yourself in there and get what they call basket pipes, but if you have a chat with them, I'm sure they'll come up with a bit of briar. I'll be honest, I don't really think it matters to start with. I know the briar thing, you know, it's cheap. So is a basket pipe. Get get a cob and a basket. And a basket pipe. What I would say don't do. Is go and spend 300 quid on a dunnel. 500 bucks, whatever it is. Get yeah, relatively, not dead cheap. I'd spend, you know. 20, 30 bucks, whatever, dollars. It's worth it just to get started. You don't want to spend too much and then think, well, actually, this pipe smoking smoking's for idiots. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know what the fuss is about. <laughs> In which case, you cut your losses, bang the pipe back on eBay. So I'd just be thinking of a basket pipe or a falcon, they're not expensive. You, know, you can get these as estates and you can get new bowls and all that kind of stuff. Oh, Jasp. Yeah. Hello. 
Cut on the cell off. Yeah. A little cute, ain't it? Right, so that's what I... With pipes, just get something you can bang a bit of back here and smoke it. Now, on tobaccos, I, I know Phil Rivera had put something on a little comment on Facebook about this a uh, few couple of weeks back. Not understanding what the seasoned palate is and tobaccos for seasoned smokers and all this kind of stuff, and I agree with him. It's bollocks. A seasoned palate. What the hell? Come on. I mean, it's already a niche market in, it, in, it, in terms of you haven't got the o global audience. Uh, every man and the dog walking down the street doesn't smoke a pipe. So you want to narrow it down further and asking and, and only selling it to seasoned pipe smokers. When the hell are you, you know, when do you become one of them? So get whatever backer you want. Try your aromatics. I got a good one from Four Noggins, Three Blind Moose. Good one. Try your aromatics. I quickly went off the aromatics and onto uh, other tobaccos. Now, I've got a t few tins here of what I tried. Now, what I didn't do is, I tried to get a bit of a range, Virginia, barely, that kind of stuff. And what I didn't do is overlook certain tobaccos because people would say, you don't want to start with that. So I'll tell you what I'm going to start with. Mm. Right? This. This. Was. My second tobacco. Full Virginia flake. People were like, oh, it's like tree bark. You need a chainsaw to get through this bloody stuff. This. Right? If you if you quite if you've got a bit of patience with it, you've got a bit of time to sit down, smoke it. There's nothing wrong with that at all. It's quite strong. It does. It did. I did dry it out. It's the only tobacco I ever did. But I did dry it out, and I rubbed it out. I tried it a few different ways, and I'll be honest. I think that taught me a hell of a lot. But um, I won't say keeping the tobacco lit because I don't really, I'll be honest, I don't care. I just relight it. I don't give it all that trying to get it. I'm not bothered. I'll relight it. Um, that taught me a lot about smoking because I could rub it out less and less so it could be a, you know, a really fine cut or I could rub it out and leave a few cubes or I could fold it and, you know, rub the top out, you know, so recommend it obviously it's a Virginia um, Latakia or Latak Lat however you guys say it this squadron leader I've ripped the label off and discussed it's Latakia it's a nice Latakia blend now having said that I think oh shit I think this Old Dublin introduced me perfectly to what Latakia was all about. That was a good introduction and squadron leader followed it up. Alright. Another Virginia, Dunhill Flake. That's a good one, it burns nice, so it's quite easy to pack and, and keep lit, you know, for a beginner. So definite recommendation. Nice smoke. Bullseye! All it bulls. I think this is about my third tobacco I tried. Again, it comes in like um, discs. Just rub it out, pop it in. That'll keep you lit. It's nice. Um, I'd recommend that. But I don't think you get it too well over there, but I'm just going to put Condor in the video because I love Condor. Um, All it Golden Slice. Definite recommendation. If you're going to get a Virginia, maybe I would maybe go for that one. That is smooth. Uh, and... Well, if you're a shrewd judge, you'll uh, you'll already be smoking it. Another one, Samuel Gareth Navy Flake. That was one of my early ones. Virginia Latakia as well, I think. Yeah, nice. It's quite moist. You might want to just dry that out a little bit, but see how you get on. Um, and how are the wine? I think it's a vapor. How are the wine? Oh, I don't know what to say about that. I think it. 
shredded my tongue when I first started because I was I went at it too hard. So it kind of depends on your own how your technique evolves. I think you need a bit of a ooh, you know, you can start puffing on this stuff. Christ, up, you know. But it's the same with anything, you know, some aromatics, same with any. If you go daft at them, then they're gonna, you know, they're gonna bite you. I'm getting all excited, aren't I? I'm excited. It's quite an excitable video. It's because I've got tobaccos there. <sighs> Even the dog's getting excited. I know, I'm just talking to nobody. It's, there's nobody there. He's thinking, what? Are you not talking to anyone? There are people, they upload it. I upload it and then they watch it on their computers. No, don't get it. So, anyway. I'm going to leave it there. It's, over, it's like 11 minutes. But I, was just, I just wanted to go through a few of the ones that I tried for, you know, for King Briar. A little bit of advice on what I found with uh, pipes as well. Um, and yeah, do let us know how you get on. Right, I'm going to make another video, another VR in a minute. I mean, I'm, I'm on fire with these VRs. Right, thanks everyone. Thanks for watching.